Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Daily D. Today's topic is limitations. So how many times have you put a limit on the things that you can do? That's probably the most important thing and the things that you can have. So many people go through life, and that includes myself, with limitations, a regulator, something that says, I can't do this. And we do that because either we've been told that we couldn't do something or we were showed that we couldn't do something, but more importantly, because we allow ourselves to believe we can't do something. So imagine this, I mean, many people would say, I could never run a mile. I could never run 10 miles. I could never run 20 miles. But if there's somebody out there that can do it, why couldn't you? And that's really the question to limitations. If there's somebody out there that's the same height and weight and lives in the same area that can do it, why couldn't you do it? And that's really the reason why most of us can't do things. It's because, well, we have a limitation, but most importantly, we haven't exposed ourselves to somebody who could break those limitations. So when I think about the limits that I put on myself, usually it's revolving around the quality of life that I can have. Maybe you have the same limitation. So for an example, um, sometimes I believe it's hard to have uh, a good professional business work ethic and, re and relationship with your business and your work and a relationship with your family and your significant other and your children. Like I, Sometimes I feel like it's hard to, to do that and there's something called work-life balance. I don't believe in that, but what I'm trying to say is sometimes I feel like I have to sacrifice one to the other, but that's not really true. There's just a it's a personal limitation. Sometimes I have to just figure it out. I gotta reorganize things. Is there somebody out there who does way more than me and has such a more fruitful relationship with their family and their friends and their children and their business? I'm sure there is. So I've gotta get exposed to that. I've gotta learn from that. I gotta research that. I gotta do better at that. So when I think about the limitations we put on ourselves, most of the time they're just limit limitations that we believe. They're beliefs. They're limiting beliefs, not necessarily truths. They're just beliefs. They're just beliefs. And once we re get rid of those beliefs, what happens is we remove the limiters, right? When somebody tells me something can't be done, that's when we know it can be done. There's really nothing impossible. Somebody said, well, I wanna go to Mars. And everybody said, that's crazy. And now we have a guy named Elon Musk who's like, I'm gonna do it, no matter what it takes, right? Somebody says, uh, you know, I need to lose 200 pounds. Somebody said, that's crazy. There's no way you could do that with surgery. And then somebody does it. Right? It's a limiting belief that you can't. And really where it all resides is right here. This bad boy right here says a lot about, says a lot about, or says a lot to you about what you can and can't do. You see, your mind gives up before your body. If you go to the gym and it's one more mile, it's your, it's your mind giving up, not your body. Right? It's, if you go to, to work and you get tired and you say, I got to go home, I got to relax, it's your mind giving up, not your body. It's when you say you're not going to eat the burger and then you eat the burger, it's your mind giving up, not your, your body. It's your mind that's giving up. It's the thing that we must control the most because once we control it, we can have anything we want. Life is has limitless potential when we get rid of limitations those reservations, those considerations, those things that hold us back. So I encourage you today to think about the limits that you put on yourself. Maybe you limited your income. Maybe you limited your, your, your health. Maybe you've limited your relationships. Maybe you limited your, your education. Maybe you've limited your skill sets. And you said, I just don't know that. I can't get that. I'm not going to do that. I don't know how to get that. I'm whatever. I say those things all the time. I catch myself. And sometimes you just got to say, stop being a you know stop being a little baby get up and figure it out and if we make those commitments together what happens is those limitations get broken for me but also for those around me see that's that's the benefit of breaking those limitations it's you know it's it's helping others get exposed to the things that they thought they couldn't do either let me let me end with this so many people go through life raising children, telling their children that they have unlimited potential, that they can go to any school they want, they can become anything they want, they can have anything they want, you know, through hard work and through, through um, you know, persistence and consistency and all those things. So mom and dad tell their children, you have significant potential, you can do anything. But they're not demonstrating that in their own lives. 
they don't show up every day giving 110% of their potential. You know, you tell your kid, I, 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 I see people who are like, my son's a star athlete. They're going to do so great things in life. Football player. And then you look at dad and he's overweight. He's out of shape and he can't get things done. How do you want to train your kid if you can't run with your kid? Right? How do you expect your kid to get better? If you want to be the number one fan, the number one coach, go run with your kid. Right? Get your butt out there. And somebody says, well, you know, my son's so smart. They're so talented. They're so gifted. What about your talents? What about your gifts? Are you exposing your potential? You see, success is by definition the exposure, the grasping, the, the attaining of your own potential. If you're not shooting for your own potential, how could you encourage others to do that? And limiting beliefs, what they do is they share with others their limits as well. And once they're crushed, once they're gone, you've also released those beliefs for them too. And you can see it as so simple as, you know, some people may have said, I would never own a home. And today they own a home because maybe you or maybe even me, I've exposed that to somebody and said, hey, I could be a homeowner one day. Let's do it. Somebody could have said, well, I never thought I could be a professional. I never thought I could be a leader in a company. And because they've seen me do it or you do it, they decide they can do it too. You see, you've crushed those limitations because you stepped up and you got rid of your limiting beliefs. Help someone else through your own belief system. Stop limiting your health and your wealth and your success because every time you limit it, every time you say, well, I've got an illness, I've got a condition that, that, that doesn't allow me to do something, you have now limited somebody else's potential. Now, I'm gonna add this because this is personal to me. See, if you can't notice, I look different, right? I tell people I look different all the time and that's actually my advantage. You can't forget me. But see, this limitation doesn't allow me to be in the sun. It, it strains my eyes a lot and in bright light and I have a little bit of, of uh, astigmatism in my eyes. They move a little bit. You know, there's, there's some limitations that have been put on me by birth, but yet, I still push, right? I wear sunscreen on the beach, right? I wear sunglasses outside. I I don't allow myself to limit my ability to get my workouts in. So I can't go run in the sun because that would just be dumb. So I run in the mornings, I run at night. You see, I don't limit my potential. Now, does that mean I won't go run in the sun if I had to? I will definitely do it. I will wear a long sleeve. I've done it before, I'll do it again. I'm just telling you, some people would have my condition and say, I gotta hide in a corner. I gotta wear a, a hat every day. I gotta make sure I don't get burned. I gotta uh, keep my eyes away from a screen. I got to You know, they would say those things and then what happens is the other people who have the same condition as me They start saying oh, well, I can't do it either and Then they don't do anything You see I have found that and by the way There are a lot of people that I know that have albinism like me who I hope that I inspire To to not be ashamed or afraid or sensitive You know, I got picked on all my life. I was told a lot of funny mean things, but you know what? Those limitations were put on me by them. And now today, because of those things, I have turned those around to becoming a positive for me. And I hope I hope that limitation, that whatever it is for you, you get rid of it so that you can expose yourself and others to their endless possibilities. God bless you. Wishing them the health, wealth, success, but most importantly, freedom, guys. Have a great day.